There is, yeah. For West Ham. Our next game sees Fulham take on Blackburn, and after all the publicity this week, the moment has finally come for a little piece of history on Match of the Day. For the first time ever, Laurie Sanchez took charge of his Fulham side at a game at Craven Cottage. Also making her debut, commentator Jackie Oatley. This is the first home game in nine and a half years in which Chris Coleman has not been part of Fulham Football Club. Here's Radzinski. It's the first time this afternoon we've heard the roar around Craven Cottage. Home fans desperately willing their side on. Six foot six sat knights in there, as is Papa Booba Diop. And it's Diop who's there, and he's flicked in at the four post. And it's Montello with a goal for Fulham. Nine minutes played, and what a crucial goal that could be. Davis with a corner, Diop with a head down, and it came off the thigh of Montella. It was done on the line, who could do nothing about it. And there's the Italian on loan from Roma, who has sent Craven Cottage into raptures. Fulham fans a little more relaxed in the sunshine now, after that perfect start from their side. Mokawain is in there with a the challenge, but so is Michael Brown. Will it fall for Jason Roberts? There's Benny McCarthy. And Bentley in towards McCarthy again. And Fulham determined to get it away, but slip at the wrong time from Radzinski. And it's Bentley again, and it was a late challenge by Michael Brown. And this is going to be the first yellow card of the afternoon. You can hardly dispute that. You get the feeling that Morton Gamps Pedersen might just fancy it from this angle. Here's Pedersen. He wasn't far away. In fact, Niemi yeah, got a touch to that. Mark Hughes full of confidence that his side can get back on track in their bid for a UEFA Cup place. They proved their determination in the midweek victory over Watford. Bentley finding space. Good ball in from Bentley, looking for McCarthy. Rossini has work to do. It's almost an own goal and it's hacked away by Zat Knight. That's the greatest threat to Fulham's goal so far. He didn't deal with it initially. And Amy scrambling to get across. Nelson with the ball forwards. And here's Roberts and he's onside and he's clean through. Jason Roberts! But Zat Knight was there to save the day for Fulham. Excellent chance for Jason Roberts. Fulham caught totally square at the back. Sanchez looking for his first win as Fulham manager after that defeat at Reading last week. There's Rossinha. McBride in a bit of space for once. Nicely done. And here's Davis. And Montella. Looks for support and he finds it in the shape of Diop. And it was Brown in there who forced a save from Brad Friedel. Montella found Diop. His strike heading off target before it hit Michael Brown. Could have gone anywhere, but Friedel made the save. Here's McCarthy. Well, he strikes it first time, crashes off the woodwork. And what a chance for Morton Gams Pedersen. But Antti Niemi, in the thick of the action, makes a crucial save. McCarthy with a rocket of a strike. Rattled against the crossbar. Pedersen should have done better initially. But look at the recovery from Niemi. You can feel the anxiety around Craven Cottage. They're all enjoying themselves in the sunshine for the first half. Bentley with a corner. Away well by Diop. Only as far, though, as done. And now his Samba! Two exquisite chances in the space of a couple of minutes. 
Chris Samba, the defender, who scored twice in the last month. Surely sooner or later this pressure from Blackburn will tell. Bocanegro with a rare set piece in the second half for Fulham. Looking to that, add to the lead. And that is not what Laurie Sanchez wanted. He's absolutely furious. One of the key points of his new tactics here is to get the set pieces right and try and score from them. But here's Blackburn on the attack. And it's Benny McCarthy. And Benny McCarthy has scored his 21st goal of the season for Blackburn Rovers. It was so simple. Warnock skipped past the challenge of Rossinia, found himself in acres of space, and just picked out the poacher McCarthy, who nipped in front of the defender. And that goal all stemmed from the Bocanegra free kick that Laurie Sanchez was so angry about. Warnock with the clearance, which turns out to be a good ball for Jason Roberts. It's Roberts against Kristen Val. Still Jason Roberts, McCarthy! What a chance. Benny McCarthy, having put Blackburn back into the game, almost put them in front. Left foot this time. Couldn't force the save. Nice touch from Routledge for Fulham. And Radzinski's away. Radzinski finds Brown in acres of space. Brown couldn't finish. Hasn't scored for two and a half years, Michael Brown after being so prolific in his days at Sheffield United. Since that Blackburn equaliser, with all that Blackburn pressure, the tension is palpable. Up towards Dempsey, and he wins the corner off Brett Emerton. A minute and a half of stoppage time played at Craven Cottage. Davis for the corner. And it's into the side netting, well, half of Craven Cottage thought for a moment that Zan Knight had guided his header past Brad Friedel. Half of them went up in celebration. Had that gone in? And surely Fulham were heading for safety. I think the nerves got to the place.